Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here, and I'm doing a, um, a a page that I was supposed to do back when um, when I was visiting my sister. So I'm late, and I apologize to Lisa. This is a um, uh, was supposed to be a sample. It turns out just to be an interpretation <laughs> of one of the premium sketches for the month of July. And <clears throat> I'm making quite a few changes. <laughs> the, um, it's a two-pager for one thing, and I've reduced it to just one page. And I'm just gonna use one photo. And where there were banners, I'm going to include tickets. These are um, a printable <clears throat> from um, scrapasketch.com and it's the ticket these tickets are gosh what I forget what the collection is but there are two um, multicolor uh, collections of tickets that are not you know kind of monochromatic and this is the one that is not named Summer. <laughs> so I'm I'm forgetting what what they are named. And I've also got uh, printables. W what I did here was I printed one of the papers from the Rainbow Wishes collection. And it was like so. And then <clears throat> I took the floral printables, which are in three different colors, and I converted them to black and white. What I did was I screen printed, which created uh, um, an image on my desktop. I imported that image into my photo program and converted the uh, colored image to black and white. Then I moved it back out onto my desktop and I printed the rainbow paper on just a plain sheet of paper. And then I fed that into my printer, the, the rainbow printed paper. And then I dragged these flowers and resized them so that I have large ones and small ones. And they're printed on the different, uh, different areas of the rainbow uh, paper. So that's how I got those flowers. I am mixing these um, uh, scrap of sketch printables with my current brand new, uh, just a couple days old um, scrap backwards kit. And so I've got this Maggie Holmes um, puffy sticker sheet. And what I'm going for are these leaves. Um, I don't know how many I'll use, but and I have this Coco Vanilla Happy Days chipboard titles, and my title is going to be uh, Fun Together. And I have this Happy Days sticker sheet, and I'm going to maybe use these two circles, and maybe that square, and maybe this one, and maybe some of these as um, to layer up my flowers and my butterfly and I might possibly use some of the uh, words. I may pull a sticker or two off of uh, these sticker sheets. I was thinking of using a border, this, this border, because it kind of looks like a lineup of tickets, but I, uh, I went a different way. I might also use this background for one of my florals, you know, like I was thinking that might look good on that, or even this because it's, um, the colors are, are different. So anyway, I'll have them handy. Now, I will tell you that I printed the tickets, just the full page of tickets, on an eight and a half by 11 um, sheet of canvas. And I discovered this canvas when I was organizing some things in my desk the other day. And I 
thought, okay, <laughs> that would be great for printing some of the printables and making uh, embellishments out of them. So that's what I did, and that's where we are. I'm cutting some tape right now. I'm gonna, I, I kind of dry fit the tickets. These tickets were all 11 inches long, the, the columns of tickets, and I've cut them into three, two, and one um, lengths. And I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and start um, gluing them down. And I'll place I'm gonna do the the basic I'm gonna change the I'll bring that down low there, but let me go. What I'm doing is I'm doing the back. the background, and then I'll layer other tickets on top. And I'm, I'm alternating uh, <coughs> color schemes and lengths here. Um, and then I'll layer things over the, the centers there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love the texture of that um, that canvas. It 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 it's really, it makes it a very um, kind of touchable sort of layout. Do that. And I'm going to do this shorter one because the colors are too close on that. Okay, so there. And then let me come over here. I'm actually gonna cut this one down. Well, actually, let me put, I wanna put um, some foam behind it because I want it to stand up. Okay, so there, and then let's do this one. I'm, I'm going to have some that are adjacent to similar colors. There's just no way to avoid that. What I'm trying to be sure I have is a, a variety of... Um, of links, and I think so far that's working out okay. And some of that I can achieve by where I place them. And I'm okay with the fact that I've got this open spot because that means I can do something like, in fact, let's try it. Let's do it right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this sticker down right there and kind of tuck it under a bit. So, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna layer this flower 
on top of that, like so. And that kind of gives me that little glimpse of color there. Let me, <clears throat> and I can do some of those in empty spots and I can do some kind of uh, all around. There's, there's plenty of layering area. That's the same kind of ticket, but very different colorways. And we have another one right here that's very similar to, actually this one would best go here, and then I can put something up there. So that's how I'm gonna work that. And the original sketch had more than one photo. I'm gonna have one photo, but I'm gonna uh, layer in or add in a frame that's gonna hold, kind of be a platform for some of my embellishments. So I'll do that. And then let me get another one of these. Um, instead of going with a circle, I'm gonna go with this little square here. And I'm gonna tuck it under there and then add a fairly small flower there. Okay. I wish I had turned it a different way. Let me see if I can. Cause this one is, has that same orientation. I wanted to do something different with this. So I'll put it like that. Okay, now we have, we're down to the single tickets and I've got this one that I thought could go maybe over here. Maybe here, actually. We'll do that. And then I've got this one. This green one that can go here. And let me get a little bit more foam. I've used all of it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. The photo that I'm using is a group photo that um, Ava and Allie's mom took of um, James and me and, and the girls at the um, birthday um, event or birthday gathering that we had at a place called the main event where bowling was uh, kind of the, the uh, activity of choice. Okay, so I've got those layered in. Let's layer in another um, floral up there. I'm going to go with this guy that's not straight. And I'm af almost afraid to stick it down on the... It's a very sticky sticker. There we go. And I'm gonna do that. Let's see, how do I wanna do that? I'll layer it so it's mostly over the tickets and then a lot of that shows. And so maybe that's room for something else. 
Now let me get a, there's this, yay. Let's see, are those the only ones I cut out? I'm kind of, it's kind of a mess down here. I've got this kind of yellowish one. I thought I would put this yay sticker, but I, well, no, the flower is on a, let me curve that up. I'll do that. And this. In the original, there are embellishments shown kind of scattered around. And I'm just kind of adding some um, some stuff to uh, to that. So now I'm going to take this orange background. I'm going to bring it up here. I kind of I've layered these two tickets together. I kind of thought this might be cute and make that sort of part of a cluster in a way. And I'll put a blue flap. Well, actually, let me put the flower up closer to the tickets. And then it's kind of lifted a little bit there. So I like that. Um, and here, <clears throat> let's see, there is a blue banner. And I think I'm going to put the blue banner maybe right here, but that's a similar colored flower to what's there. Uh, let's do the blue banner. i tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll use the blue banner in, down below. I'm gonna put it back on the sheet for now. So let's see what I'm gonna do down below. I had toyed with the idea of layering the photo here and the this frame that's kind of a neutral and has some colors there. And, and I thought, well, you know, maybe I want something bigger. So then I thought of doing this and this, and then framing this with embellishments kind of clustered around it. But I thought I'd rather put this kind of like so and then layer this over the gray part, which um, isn't a color that's represented in the, in the tickets. So I, let me do some foam around here. And then I layered up some foam behind the tick, the uh, photo so that it can bridge the frame. And I'm hoping that it'll be able to bridge it now that I've got the foam on it. And if it doesn't, I'll just add another piece of foam to it. So I'll put that like so. And then after that, the rest is embellishing with the, um, the things I pulled out. I don't know that I'm going to use all of those, and I may use those and some more things, but um, I thought that would be a good start. Okay, let's do this like that and has it just slightly below that orange ticket. And then we have this, which is gonna need just a little bit more foam there. And I'm just gonna cut this. This is thinner foam than the, um, than the foam tape. 
that across there and that across there. I'm using scraps of foam wherever I can these days. Okay, so I'm gonna put that here. And now let's look at that. Where could that go? I may not use this or I may not use it in the same way. I'm gonna put it back on the sticker sheet where it came from, and let's see the stuff that I had planned to use. I know I wanna use these shoes, and, and they look a little like bowling shoes, and bowling was one of the, you know, was the, the main activity that we were doing. So that was kind of, that's kind of cool. And the tickets are perfect because when you play any of the games, you get, um, and you win, you get tickets. And then you turn those in, you redeem those for um, prizes, gifts, um, stuff, junk, <laughs> for the most part. And... Uh, I don't want to put it over the photo. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I do want it over the photo. Kind of like that. And then I can layer this underneath it. But I want to also include this. Maybe there. Let's let's see how this how this works out. Actually, I also kind of wanted this in the picture because the 21-year-olds, Katie and Allie, um, did have some tropical drinks at the, um, at the bar. That was their first, that was the one millionth time we've all been uh, at this place. It's a favorite place for the kids. It always has been for them to celebrate their birthdays. So... But it's the first time they've been able to have a drink at the bar. <laughs> so that, that, was, that was exciting times, right? Um, let me do this more down this way. Okay, so that's layered on there. This could go kind of like so. I like the idea of that being behind, but the umbrella being over. So I think I'll layer it that way. And there's um, another icon. The, the, um, the flower is from, I don't know, uh, a Jen Hadfield, Peaceful Heart. And the and that's where the leaf sprig also comes from. The This tropical drink and the bowling shoes come from uh, Vicki Booten's Where To Next. So I'm going to put this here, but I need that some of that thick foam underneath this one shoe. And that should anchor it.
there, and then maybe have that there with some gelato. Let's see. I could do it this way with the gelato right under it, and I'll, I'll mount the gelato right on the um, frame. Okay, let me put it a little bit over so that it reaches the end of the frame. And then I'm going to do this. Okay, and now I want to put this butterfly in uh, uh, the rainbow paper. I didn't have any, I didn't happen to print any of the flowers on the, on any, anything that was pink. So there are lots of pink tickets and I wanted to, and there's this pink down, on, down here. So I kind of wanted to represent pink up in the upper section. So I'm going to add a butterfly up here. Let's see. Do that right on top of the blue ticket. I have these um, white leaf sprigs, I think from Maggie Holmes. And I'm not sure if I want to use them down here or up there or both. I could do this right here. Let's do that. And I'm mixing flower styles, of course. Um, and that's okay. I have to do that or else I'd never use some of the styles that are not my favorite. I'm covering up the gelato song. I'm also, I, I don't like this white space. I like for there to be something in between there. So I'm going to There's another flower that is similar. It's not from the same collection, but it's similar to the Peaceful Heart. It's this, and it's a sunflower. So I, I like it for that reason. It's not my... Um, Not my favorite sunflower. <laughs> and when I say that, I'm kind of being a little facetious um, and kind of talking to Sharon. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> We've had an intense discussion on flower styles and why I, why I like some. And I, I've, I've had that discussion with John many times when I think he was, you know, there was at least once that he was kind of fishing around for a suggestion for a gift he wanted to get me. And he kept saying, and, and do you like this? And do you like this? And, do you like... and he, he pointed out some florals that, you know, a couple things that, that I, um, well, let's see. That's not really what I want to do. Well, I probably should go ahead and do the title. Um, well, no. I'm going to get the black leaves. because Because the, these guys are outlined in black, 
I wanted to add some black in there. And these leaves are similar enough to the ones in Lisa's printables that I thought they would work, even though uh, the Maggie Holmes style here is very different from Lisa's style. So I'm going to just kind of put these in a couple places. Let's see, there, as I recall, there are a couple more on this page. I'll do that. And then I want to do one up here. So I hope, I, yeah, I do have a small one. I'm actually going to double up and put two leaves here. And what can I do here? There's a little black heart that kind of works. And I, I like layering hearts, so I'm going to add a lavender one because we have a lot of lavender tickets. Lavender is a color that's used um, up in the tickets. There's a lavender frame here. I was thinking since she had that lavender, I would try to find some more. But let's do the, I'm going to put that back in the in the kit. Let's see if there's anything um, I've got that little this little guy right here that says happy snaps and the date and I know the date for that one and I've committed now and I've got it on there. This was 6-23-23. Uh, James turned 49 and Ava turned 15. And life will never be the same. Um, let me... I wish I had some sort of circular element to go right there to kind of bridge the gap between this flower and this frame. And there are no more circular shapes here. Let's see, I've got this one. It's not quite the colors I would have chosen, but I think it'll work. It's just that little bit of color that kind of gives it a better flow. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with um, I like this, you mean the world to me. And I think I'm gonna put it across the flower. But first, I'm gonna give it some foam backing with my little skinny foam strips. If I can find them. One of these days, I need to really think about what annoys me when I can't get to it, you know, and, and how best to arrange my table for um, videos. And then I need to kind of set things up. I've set up my filming space many different ways on many different occasions in 
and I it I, I haven't um, I'm always trying new things so I'll get on a kick of making a certain type of thing that that uh, where I can't reach what I need to reach and let's see and so it changes my my needs in the area actually change okay so um, there's my title I want to see if there is a black and white butterfly here that I really love and I thought it would work nicely but let me put the title first because the title is black and white it's going to go across the frame there and I need to make sure that the butterfly doesn't encroach on that let me just kind of stick it down right there and let's go get the title I was going to say use fun together but I don't think I have room for good times, but together works because kind of, let's see if that's sticky enough. And let me check the length. That works. If I use that exact spacing and I put the T kind of right here. I'm going to line it up with the top of the frame. Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit um, fussy. When I glued these letters on before I didn't realize there was a backing. I thought they were coming out. Um, I didn't realize it was a sticky backing. And so I didn't peel them. So I just glued them down with the backing using, putting the glue on the backing. And I don't think that's going to work out well for me. So <laughs> I need to go back and pull all those up. It's okay if things end up getting weighted this way. Oops, where did this U come from? That's, I don't like that. Okay. G, I'll do this and then I'll put this back in its, um, in its package. I love this hand-drawn, uh, these hand-drawn letters. And it, it is, you know, that's something that most anybody can do. Uh, even I <laughs> can, can do that. It's getting the sizes and the um, style kind of uniform that, that might be a bit of a challenge. But even if you don't get it perfect on that, I'm not having any luck with that. I'll do that off camera. And let's peel these. And let me get this lined up at the top. That's too close. And I don't want to peel anything. So the alphas are from... Um, Cocoa Vanilla. The frame is from Simple Stories, uh, Let's Go. The um, Icon Ephemera, the uh, bowling shoes and the gelato um, and the butterfly are from uh, Vicki Booten's Where To Next. The little happy snaps 
that's cocoa vanilla. And the adorable little flowers and leaves and the tickets are from, uh, or printables from Scrap a Sketch. And the sketch that inspired what I'm doing is one of the premium sketches for July, and they are all loaded out on the website, so you can go um, purchase those. And these um, tickets are out there. There are a whole variety of of tickets, uh, um, some monochromatic, uh, like all different shades of purple, all different shades of pink and blue and so forth. And then, like I said, there are two multicolor varieties, one of which is named Summer, and I forget what this one is named. Okay, so we have that. And then I can do something right here, a an embellishment of some sort. Let's see what we have in here. There's ice cream, but I've got the gelato there, so I don't really need that. I could use the boba tea because that's Katie's favorite, but she didn't get any that night. Ooh, there's this little coffee cup that says hot stuff and I could probably do oh how about this <laughs> that's not gonna that's not that's so not gonna work <laughs> um what do I want to use here um going through Okay, it's not, this isn't, oh, okay, there's an umbrella. Why don't I do it like that? I've got the little drink umbrella there and this umbrella here. I love it. And it matches that pink on the frame. Okay. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And I think it's done. And like I said, it's um, I I Lisa's sketch inspired me to look for things that that could I could cluster up at the top that would be you know you could do banners you could do ribbon you could do washi tape um, I wanted to do something a little bit different and. So I thought, why not tickets? When I was looking through the printables, I saw the tickets and that just kind of, that's where all of this came to me. What I think I'm going to do is cut some small pieces of this um, foam and put down at the bottom of each uh, column of tickets. And I'll show you what, what that's going to do. Um, well, actually, it doesn't have to. I don't have to take the glue. So I can do this. And that makes sure that they never completely smash down. And it doesn't have to stick. In fact, it's almost better if it doesn't. And just the action of lifting them. And I'm not doing it off camera, am I? Uh, the action of lifting them kind of curls them up to uh, give that um, dimension and interest. Uh, 
I'm not doing every single row, but maybe I should. I didn't do this, so let me put one behind here. And I don't put it right at the end. I put it kind of far back, and that um, gives it the lift ahead of time, and it ensures that it doesn't show. So that's all done. I'm happy with this. This is actually, um, I, I like this page a lot better than I, uh, you know, than I even imagined. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.